All right, traders, if you are serious about making money, make sure you stay till the end of this video. I'm going to be breaking down another swing trading opportunity that is coming up for the SPY for leap put options again. I'm going to explain to you on why we can potentially see a drop to $366 by the end of March. I'm going to be breaking down the macro chart for you, and we're going to turn that macro chart into a micro chart so you have a better understanding of when to be buying these put options and where to be locking in your profits. Let's get straight into the video. So in terms of what we're going to be breaking down first is the monthly chart. Then we're going to be breaking down the weekly chart. Then we're going to go a little bit more micro. So this is the pattern that I brought awareness to in my video that I posted about six days ago towards the end. And in terms of trader society, this was the leap option swing trading idea that I gave them on March 4th at 10:48 AM. I clearly stated, the monthly chart of the SPY, um, if you were to compare the left-hand side, which is what we're about to do, because you're going to see this pattern is repeating itself, to the right-hand side, we are setting up for a major bull trap in terms of this month of March to be buying macro leap put options. I'm planning to take a leap put option trade to swing on the SPY within the next one to two weeks. The desired entry is $407. The expiration would be April 21st. The ideal entry is when SPY hits 407 going with a 400 hour out of money strike that was all strategically planned in advance and as you can see the high of day for the month was 407.45 so i'm going to show you on how i was able to come up with that entry and i'm going to explain to you on why i believe we are going to crash to the mid 360s by the end of march so first things first this is the monthly chart that is repeating to an exact t and we brought awareness to this before it all happened and it continues to repeat itself so i'm going to continue to align myself with this history with this pattern that's repeating itself and then once it finally stops working that's when i'll have my first loss following along with all the winds of this pattern and then i will adapt and go from there but with that being said this is the pattern you have this big red bearish candlestick and then you see the bottom wick you have this big Big red bearish candlestick and then you see the bottom wick right what happens on the second month on the second month it is this green bullish candlestick with the wick and then you can see right here on the second month it is this green bullish candlestick with the wick see how the wicks are similar the price is similar what happens on the third month on the third month the spy breaks out and then it closes weak at the lows of the month on the third month the spy breaks out and then it closes weak at the lows of the month what happens on the fourth month the fourth month is where we are now as you can see on the fourth month this is how i came up with my 407 level right here the opening price of this candle so i'm going to draw a line this is the opening price of the month right here it opened at 409 dollars and then on the fourth month which is where we are in terms of this pattern now it spiked to 411.73 so it basically went up a little bit over two points and then it sold off that was the exact exact peak it had a massive crash and it closed week at the lows now look at this on the fourth month so this is where it closed this is where it opened right so it opened at 405 remember last time it spiked about two points higher so look at this it spikes to 407.45 just like last time two points higher and then it gets absolutely crushed the pattern is repeating itself to a t and if you look at this you have so much more red and so much more downside on this month it went from 412 all the way down to 357 plus we have a perfect storm of all this bad news coming out with the banks and all that stuff everything is aligning for this pattern to consistently repeat itself which has been repeating itself accurately for four months almost now now i'm going to blow your mind with the weekly chart right so if you want to be able to understand the macro price action you have to look at larger time frames and then you break it down so that's the monthly chart look at the weekly chart this is where you're truly going to be in shock in terms of the week with on um, these ovals that i just ended up drawing out for you so take a look at the weekly chart this is what i want to bring awareness to this is a weekly pattern on the spy and this is what i need you to pay attention to because the same exact pattern is happening let me clear this screen for you 
So you see right here, this is what I want to bring awareness to, right? So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this clearly because the same exact thing is happening on the weekly chart. Right here, the SPY gaps down. There's a gap to fill right here. That gap is um, right around 405, I believe. There's a gap to fill right around this area, right? It gaps down and then what does it do? You have a red bearish week, you have a green bullish week, you have a very big red bearish week, and then you have two more big red bearish weeks. So we're gonna draw out the ovals and you're gonna see the same exact pattern is happening. Look at this. You had a little gap to fill right here, red bearish candlestick. You have a little gap to fill right here towards that 407 level, right? With a red bearish candlestick. Then you have a green bullish candlestick. They look nearly identical, right? And this is the weekly time frame. You have a green bullish candlestick right here. It looks identical. Then on the third week, on the third week, it breaks out and then it also breaks down lower. So it has a small little breakout and then it breaks down lower right here. Same exact candlestick. It has a small little breakdown, breakout, then it breaks down lower. So this is where I want to pay attention to, right? We're on the fourth week right now. What happens on the fourth week? Well, you could see right here, it, it ended up closing at um, 385.56. And you could see today, um, you know, last week it closed at like the same price. 385.91. What happens the next week? The next week it spikes to 389.31 and then it drops all the way down to 363. Massive sell. So it has a little spike above the previous um, closing week's candle, right? So what I'm telling you is it's going to try to have a little spike and then it's going to top out. And you could see it topped right here. It topped at the previous week's lows. This is where it topped out at the previous week lows. The previous, the previous week's lows um, compared to last week is at 392. So what I'm telling you is, if this pattern continues to repeat itself, the exact top is going to be 389. If not, then 392. That is your zone. And if you're going with leap puts, you don't want to like try to you know predict the exact top. The top is likely going to be between 389 to 392. You don't want to say, okay, I'm gonna wait till 392 and then miss out on the play. You don't want to do that. You want to take nice starters at 389, and then you could save some for 392, right? But that's the zone. Based off of everything that I showed you, it is going to this week, it's gonna to try to have a small little spike, and the top is gonna to be 389 to 392. That is the expected top towards the previous week lows or just $3 above the closing week's price like it did last time, right? And then what happens from there? The same exact thing that happened last week, a massive sell-off. And on this time frame, it dropped all the way to 363 and then a week after that it went to 357 right now i'm not looking to aim for that much but what i'm telling you is we still have very much downside potential left for march and we have a lot of um news events coming out that's the only thing that could shake things up a little bit for us but from an overall point of view if you compare what has been happening we are talking about an exact repeat for almost four months straight. And if you look, if the same thing happens, right? Compare these two red candlesticks. Look at how big and bearish this red candlestick is. This is only half the move. 407.45 to 384 is only half the expected move. The market has the volatility. So it has a big move. It has big moves coming and it's likely going to be downside based off the pattern that I brought awareness to. So this is what I do. This is how I'm able to be so accurate with my win rate. I align myself with patterns in history that are repeating itself. Once it no longer works and repeat itself, I cut my loss. It works until it doesn't, right? But the point being is, if you were to align yourself and capture these trends and patterns in real time, your win rate and you'd be able to know where the best entries are. Look, I'm gonna blow your mind a little bit even more here with this um, overall chart here, let's go back to that um, weekly time frame to discuss the macro. Take a look right here. There was two gaps. See how there was um, a gap to fill right here towards the weekly chart, and then there was another gap to fill right here. It topped out on the lower gap. It never went to that higher gap. It topped out at the lower one, and the same thing just happened on the SPY. Take a look. I'm gonna go to the daily chart and show you what it is I'm talking about. 
there was a gap right here. This is the higher one at 408.28. And then the lower one was right here at 407.26. Remember last time it topped out at the lower one and never went to the higher one. The same thing just happened with a bearish candlestick. When you see these gaps fill with these patterns and it forms a bearish red candlestick at the gap like this, that is when you swing trade. This is why I was telling people 407 in the chat. I clearly told them, I clearly wrote it out. This is the game plan, man. It was perfect. So now we're getting ready to do it at a lower level. So um, what are some ways to profit off of this? What are some things to look for? Basically, I would focus on um, April 21st. Put options is what I would focus on in terms of the SPY April 21st. You can also consider end of March um, put options for SPY as well. You can do a mixture, but the volume is extremely heavy on April 21st, and that's what I would focus on. Now, for those of you with small accounts and you cannot afford um, these put options, but you want to take advantage of this more passive income in this uh, swing trading play, right? Because as traders, we're always sitting in cash. We're not full porting, right? So you need to do something with the cash. That's where swing trades and leap option opportunities come into play, right? And you don't even have to trade in a sense this week or this month. If you're seeing a strong bearish pattern, you can just ride out the swing trades and take a little break from trading and focus on other things for the time being, right? So um, what I would tell you is if you have a small account, this is one thing you can do to make the option contracts a lot cheaper. And in a way, this is a lot safer than um, swing trading a naked put option in my opinion. Now, I wouldn't day trade these and I wouldn't do what I'm gonna share with you on other stocks. You need a lot of liquidity to do this because the spreads are going to be very, very wide. This is what I would do. I would look into getting a put debit spread, get a put debit spread. You can do something safe like um, end of March and go at like a 386 to 385 put. You could do a one point spread. Just compare, get yourself educated on put debit spreads. They are extremely cheap. I would look for one that's in the low 40 cent range. This one right now is end of March, March 31st. It's at 42 cents and um, you would be buying a 386 put and you would be selling a 385 put. That's what I would look into if you have a small account or if you wanna do a mixture of contracts. But basically what I'm telling you is if this pattern continues to repeat itself, we are looking at a massive crash within some time by the end of March, based off the pattern, it says it's coming this week, but the only um, complications is, you know, we have the CPI coming out. We have a lot of news events coming out this week. It can alter some things, but if you want to align yourself with this history and with this pattern, I would just give yourself more time than needed. April 21st, you can go at end of March 31st. You can play some safe verticals. You can stay with something that's at the money. Just play it safe in a sense. The way this is setting up, it looks like it's gonna be very, very hard to lose any money if you are sticking with the plan. Because I'm telling you, man, a big crash is ahead and everything is aligning. And this is what I do. I capture trends, I capture patterns, and I'm looking at this and I'm saying this is identical. Just look at the weekly chart, folks. There's a gap to fill, there's a gap to fill, sideways up, fills the gap, and then it just crashes. There's a gap to fill, sideways up, and then it just crashes. Based off of this, you have two big downside potential weeks. Then you're going to have an insane recovery week. At some point, um, it happened the next month in this case. At some point, there's going to be an insane recovery week where it blasts back towards those um, previous week lows. Look at this insane recovery. And then it sells right back off and goes lower. There's going to be so much money to made if you can identify the micro and if you focus on shorting these big spikes at these key levels. So based off of what we know now, your focus should be put options at 389 and 392. Those are the two levels that you hit with size, right? Big crash, sell into the crash, sell into the support levels right here. There's a lot of support at 376. That's where you're going to want to look to scale out towards the bottom of these wicks. The trend and pattern says we should go much lower. Don't be greedy. Take your gains. Scale back in on the big rips. But this looks like a phenomenal trading play, folks. And based off this pattern, we are setting up for right here next week if it continues to repeat itself. So remember, this has been repeating for nearly um, four months now. And in terms of the weekly chart, we're looking at an overall pattern that has been repeating for now um, three weeks. This this pattern that I pointed out has been has been literally the exact same pattern for three weeks straight. So if it continues to work, 
we're looking at another fourth bearish week. The only complications is the news. So I will say this in terms of the CPI. So we have CPI coming out this week on Tuesday. So my thoughts are, if the SPY drops, if we drop tomorrow, we will likely see a spike on CPI and then we'll look to buy puts at 389 to 392. We'll look to buy puts the day it spikes, right? Um, if the SPY goes up tomorrow and has a nice day, I think it's going to be very, very hard to see a nice spike on CPI. Those are just some things that I want to bring awareness to and that I personally believe. But basically, in terms of how we are setting up for this market, you need to be focused on put options in terms of your um, you know, day trading, especially the swing trades, right? And you need to focus on key levels to be buying puts. So the key levels that I gave you, 389 and 392. Now, in terms of later into the week, this is what I want to bring awareness to as well. If this does spike to 389, 392, if it spikes a little bit, say after CPI, whenever it's going to happen, right? The logical thing would be it drops on Monday, then it spikes on CPI to screw the bears one last time for another phenomenal bull trap. That's the logical, that's how my brain thinks in terms of logically on how this would set up if it does repeat itself, right? But um, basically that last bull trap will come um, likely, you know, if it does crash on Monday and then CPI comes out and spikes, that's going to be a major bull trap, in my opinion. But either way, the bull trap is coming and it's here and all this is bearish confirmed. I'm going to align myself with this pattern. But basically what I'm telling you is if you see this it, later into the week, so write this down. If you see this um, rise above, so um, you, it's, it's breaking out, it's rising above, it hits like 387, 389, 392, it spikes, right? You see it spike. If it drops back to 384, the low of last week, if you see it spike and then it drops back to the low, um, it's going to get crushed if you see it spike first. That's when this 384 gets taken out, that's when it's going to melt down, but only if it spikes first. If it drops first below 384, they will likely spike this on the CPI. Then when it goes back to 384, it's an absolute bloodbath. So just write those things down in terms of that information. So look, man, we're going to absolutely crush it this week. This is expected to be um, one of my best trading months ever. I'm going to be sizing in extremely heavy on this position size because I'm extremely confident in this play. And I see the pattern. I see the history of peanut itself and with all the news that's going on with the banks. Um, it's just the perfect storm of weather for um, more red into the month. And based off that pattern, man, this is only half of the move. We went from 407 to um, 384 this month. Only half of the move. The volatility is here. The price action is here. The pattern is here. And just look at this. This is only half the move. Look at what happened. Massive red month. Only half of that massive red month. Um, it could be only a little bit over one third in a sense, right? So um, that's our focus, guys. And that should be more than enough to make the cost of trader society if you take this play um, the wise way. I'm going to be alerting all my trades in real time and live streaming as well. If you guys do want to be a part of trader society, it is the first link down below in the description. It is a one-time fee. It is lifetime access. Now is the best time to be joining trader society. We've been getting phenomenal results, man. Um, in terms of in terms of Thursday, I did have a red day. SPY did do what I wanted to do. It spiked and it gapped up. So the scalp and the swing trade printed but I kept on buying calls later into the day. I tried puts, puts wasn't working out. Had a nice red day on Thursday. But on Friday, I made it all back and the results are in, man. Um, even though Thursday wasn't a great day, we still had more people go green. And then in terms of Friday, the trades were unbelievable on Friday. And we had 60 people go green and six red. This was one of our best days on Friday. I made it all back and more. So Friday was a phenomenal trading day for me. Um, but yeah, if you do want to be a part of Trader Society, it is the first link down below in the description. It's one-time fee, it's lifetime access. All the information is explained down below. So um, that's going to be my main focus is focusing on this leap, put option, more passive income play for me, focusing on that. And then in terms of my day trades, um, I will be paying attention to 389, 392, and I will also be paying attention to that crack of 384. Um, if it drops on Monday, I'm not interested in the crack of 384. It's likely going to be a little um, micro bear trap for the CPI squeeze. If it spikes on Monday, then I will be, um, you know, if it spikes after, I'm interested in spikes after, then it cracks, right? And then obviously the puts it, you know, 389 to 392. So there's going to be some great day trading opportunities coming up. There's going to be some great swing trading opportunities come up. And I just want you guys to understand in terms of this pattern in the market that we were in, you need to be focused on puts at key resistance. 389, 392. If it spikes and then it drops back, then you focus on 384 puts. It will get crushed, but that's the spike first. If it drops to 384 tomorrow, 
Don't do any puts. They're going to try to create that one last bull trap. Wait till 389, 392. Then if it hits those levels, drops back, then you do the puts 3D4 when the bull trap is created, right? So um, that's the play. I will see you guys heading into market open tomorrow. If you want to be part of Trader Society, it's the first link down below in the description.